The House impeachment inquiry is kicking into high gear tonight. From subpoenas to demands for documents to telling the Trump administration's dealing dealings, I should say, with Ukraine. KCAL9's Jeff Nguyen joins mm -hmm. us now with the latest developments. Jeff? Well, Jeff and Sharon, tonight House Democrats are not letting up as they build a case for impeachment against President Trump. Now, this comes as they have already issued their first subpoena with more to come next week. Even though lawmakers have left Capitol Hill for a scheduled recess, House Democrats are not easing off the gas in their impeachment effort against President Trump. The first proceedings are expected next week. Earlier today, the chairs of three powerful House committees subpoenaed Secretary of State Mike Pompeo for documents related to the investigation into Mr. Trump. This is a farce. House Republicans pushed back against the anonymous whistleblower who first revealed that White House officials sought to lock down the transcript of a phone call in which President Trump urged the leader of Ukraine to investigate a campaign rival, Joe Biden. This guy was out to get the president. As the White House is attempting to sow doubt, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi is condemning Attorney General Bill Barr for his handling of the complaint that named him multiple times. I do think the Attorney General has gone rogue. He has for a long time now. In the meantime, the subpoena calls for Secretary Pompeo to hand over the State Department documents by next Friday after already missing a September 16th deadline. Claire McKenna, political science professor Jack Pitney, once worked as the deputy director of research at the Republican National Committee. The chairman of the committee said very explicitly that if Pompeo does not comply, that could end up being an article of impeachment, and that's going to get his attention. Some of the president's aides have been scrambling to deal with the fallout. No one I've talked to is concerned at all about this because there is nothing there. You don't find the whistleblower credible? No, not at all. He was not a witness to anything. So this is all second and third hands. But the nation's top intelligence official said yesterday the complaint is credible. I think the whistleblower did the right thing. A senior administration official tells CBS News National Security Council lawyers directed that the classified document be handled appropriately and confirmed a transcript of the July 25th call between President Trump and Ukraine's President Vladimir Zelensky was filed in a separate, highly classified system. Kellyanne Conway is a counselor to the president. His calls with the leaders of Mexico and Australia leaked, and then his conversation with the Russian ambassador and someone else uh, from that embassy, I believe, leaked. And so there's great concern. Tonight, the Washington Post reports the White House has locked down evidence of the president's conversations in the past. You are kidding. You are kidding. It has to do with the now infamous 2017 Oval Office meeting with the Russian foreign minister and the Russian ambassador, in which Mr. Trump reportedly revealed highly classified information. The Post reports a memorandum summarizing the meeting was limited to all but a few officials with the highest security clearance, in an attempt to keep the president's comments from being disclosed publicly, according to former officials. And the New York Times is reporting the White House restricted access to sensitive calls between the president with Vladimir Putin and members of the Saudi royal family. I think it's going to hurt the Democrats. You think people are tired of impeachment talk? I think they're exhausted. Back on Capitol Hill, most Republicans have stuck with Mr. Trump, while some have criticized his controversial call. The president, um, this is not okay. And now new polls find public support for impeachment jumping seven percentage points or more this week. I do think Americans understand this much better than they understood the Russia story. The Russia story was very complicated, had lots of moving parts. This is a shakedown. People understand a shakedown. In addition to Secretary Pompeo, the committee chairs also want to depose five State Department officials. At this point, it is unclear if or when they want the Attorney General to testify, but Democrats are hoping to have this all wrapped up by Thanksgiving, if not sooner. Jeff.